River runs for 2,300 miles across the northwestern corner of North America. Many generations of native people have drawn on its waters for food and drink. Recent development and changes in land use have affected the quality of Yukon River water. In 1997, concerned by growing health problems, inadequate environmental quality monitoring, and the loss of a way of life, chiefs and elders from the peoples who live along the river joined together in an effort to, quote, once again drink clean water directly from the Yukon River as our ancestors did for thousands of years before us. Today, the Yukon River Intertribal Watershed Council represents 60 native nations in Alaska and Canada, monitors more than 2,300 miles of river and millions of acres of land, works to increase water quality and environmental integrity within a massive ecosystem, and offers a remarkable model of partnership among diverse peoples determined to preserve their lands and their ways of life. It offers a superb example of what Native peoples, armed with a vision and the practical capacity to work together, can accomplish not only for themselves, but for us all. I'd like to ask Heather Kendall, Kendall Miller to present high honors to the Yukon River Intertribal Watershed Council, Koyakon and Gwich'in Athabascan, Yupik and Tlingit Nations.